So the birds should be off the coffee point, they should be off the rivers, and they should be in here on the lake somewhere. Typically we have a pretty good early morning flight, birds kind of shuffling around at first daylight, and then they'll all leave and go feed, you know, whether it's on the flats or the, the river or the fields. Then they'll come back in about anywhere from 11 to 1 in these larger flocks of 10 to 20 and just come right down the main lake, you know, do a circle and then they'll break off and either head back toward the river or come down here. We got a really light fog this morning. A little bit of fog that'll help keep the birds down. The birds on top sometimes has kind of difficult for them to come down through the fog. It'll lift up, you know, you know, and they'll start moving. It's pretty setting though. Yeah, they're out here. They'll move around. We've always done well. And they're coming back. It's a beautiful place. Sitting out here is a delta type environment. Mountains you can't see off in the background. Listening to the whistling of the wings overhead. Mars coming alive. It's the life of a waterfowler. You gotta love it. Wet, cold. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Fog was pretty bad this morning, yeah, driving in through the lake, you got your iPhone, you're looking at the little blue dot, and, you know, trying to keep up with that, you know, with technology these days, and GPSs and phones, you know, you can, you know, you can do things like that. You know, we've hunted the area for many, many years, we know it, pretty much driving in the dark. You know, if it had been nice and clear this morning, we wouldn't even have had the lights on and we'd have gone straight to, straight to the camp, got the decoys, and we'd have been able to go straight out here to the spot where we wanted to hunt without any type of use of any other electronic aids or anything like that. It would have been pretty neat. Those reeds look pretty good right there. That's what I was thinking. Chris and them were hunting right over here the other day. We'll set the decoys right out in here. We'll put some divers out here and some puddle ducks here and we'll put some over there and we'll put a boat in here because they're going to be coming from the lake coming straight across here. Today we should have a, a large variety of um, birds working out here today. We should have mallards, we should have widgeon, teal, bluebills, possibly some canvas backs, maybe some spoonies or Hollywood ducks, laughing mallards. Um, we might even see some geese, just never know. Shooting time, just a waiting game now. Wait for the birds. We're starting to get some more northern birds in. We've seen some larger flocks of bluebills, widgeon. You know, the green heads are finally starting to get some color. Another week or two, it's gonna be game on. We got a really light fog this morning. The decoys are set. Temperature's about 45, 48. Had a little bit of rain this morning. You know, the rain keeps the birds down a little bit as well, so that'll dry off. A little breeze from the west, about five knots, a little bit of ripples in the water. That'll help. But on mornings like this, the birds typically fly a little bit later. You'll get an early morning flight, then they'll stop, nine, 10 o'clock, then they'll come back in on that midday flight around 11 to one. That's an old reward band. That was an old mallard in Kansas, 95. Had two bands on him, one on the left leg and a $10 reward band on the right leg. It's pretty cool. And the next day, my buddy shoots a mallard, comes in and I let him have it. And I said, go ahead, man, you can take that one. Shot one time, drops it. He didn't have waders on, so I walk out and pick it up. Another banded mallard. 
one on the left, one, you know, green one on the right, another $10 reward band. There's two right here in front coming at us. Boy, Skeeter. Nice little widgeon. A little young widgeon here. You can tell this is this year's hatch. If you look at the tail feathers, they got an inverted Y or V. That's this year's bird. So a young bird. Hen. That's a good start. Two birds. Yeah, they're starting to fly now. Got motion we've got you know we could use a little bit more breeze but spread looks good the birds are just you know a lot of these birds have been shot at so they're used to the you know they're used to calls they're used to decoy spreads and you try to change it up sometimes change up some of the strategy spread looks good though we've got some motion a little bit of a wind, you would think they would be working a little bit better. But we'll get them in here. We'll get some birds. Oh, he's gonna set up short. A little widgeon. He'd have to do that, wouldn't he? One over here on the left coming in. Three of them, four of them, bluebills. Right up front. Right there, locked up, coming in. I mean, that's 40 yards out to that. Oh, right there, right there. I'm gonna come back around. I hit that one too, we gotta watch him. Those bluebills are gonna be hard to see, Chris, with that mountain. Look at these swans coming over the top of us. Isn't that beautiful? We've got another flock of swans coming into the lake over here on the left. Okay. There's a mallard or something's coming in. Right there. Shooting. Oh, he's a little high.
it's pretty cool though because you can come out here like the second week of September you know you might have a little bit of snow on the tops a little bit of a dusting but gradually over every week you're out here you can watch it come down you can see the line of it just gradually creeping down right there right there two mountains okay. oh good shot Skeeter fetch it up big old green head Chris congratulations great shot man awesome two dogs, one of them's gonna find it. Man, they just snuck up on you behind the mountains. Skeeter's got it. Good boy, Skeeter. Look at that big, oh, it's a hen, so it was a pair. Big old northern mallard. Look at that. Oh, right there up front. Bluebills, man. These are big birds. See how dark that that bill is on that hen. She's got some real dark colors at the top of her. That's a real big mature bird. And look at the tail feathers. There's no split split tail feathers. Beautiful bird. We wait months or a good solid month and a half to get birds like this up here in Alaska from up north. Good solid northern bird. You know, we've got three groups on the lake this morning. We all know we're out here. It kind of helps with knowing where the birds are at on the lake. Oh, look at that. We just had three swans land right to be fully from. Look at these swans coming over the top of us. Isn't that beautiful? Right there. Beautiful. I know, Skeeter, this is, this is pretty tough, buddy. It's pretty tough. You got the jerk cord going. You got the birds wanting to come in. But you're dropping in on the other side. You gotta figure this out. be right out in the middle. We've never had to compete against that. Who would have known? It's really weird. They should have came in. Some of them should have. Nothing wrong with the with the spread or the location. I need to pull those swan decoys. But I don't think so because they've been feeding around swans all day. Normally when they get up like that, stir in, you know, they want to commit. Bounce over here, but they've got their minds set up on sitting over there on that side. Yeah. yeah, we got some over here on the left. Right there, a big flock of bluebills, widgeons. See if we can get them to come back around. right here in the decoys. Well he's fixing to he's fixing to swim in between these two right here. I could probably take a pop at him. That's the other part of the hunting, you know? It's the dog work. Skeeter didn't even see it. Skeeter! Back! Back! 
Good boy. Just watching them. Do what they love, man. Doing what they love. Skeeter. Skeeter, over. Is he cleared yet? You seen? No, oh, he's hot. He's hot. But he'll get downwind. Skeeter will smell him here in a second. good mallard hunt this morning the northern birds are here this should be really good this morning if we can get in here and get set up with a little bit of motion at about a five knot wind it was blowing more later when we were coming in about 9:30, it'll start warming up you know the birds will start flying i think we're going to have a great shoot today normally when they get here they're here for about a week week and a half you know the big northern red legs and after that, they're gone. We're supposed to get down to 16 tonight, 18 tomorrow night. We're supposed to warm up again next week, so if that works the way it did three years ago, it'll lock up and it'll thaw back out. But if we get some clear nights in there, the birds are gonna push down south and we'll be done. Oh. That's why you bring extra gloves. came in from behind me, locked up. Big old green head, that's okay. That's okay, Skeeter, we'll get the next one. Man. Might have to change the choke on these, on this gun. I think it's got the full choke in it. The way we're set up today, these birds might be decoying really, really quick. have a lot of birds pull in here lock up and come if it's any indicator based off of what those two hens just did it's gonna be a great day it's gonna be too easy they're gonna come right in here he comes Bird worked great. Came right in. A little bit of soft calling. I like that improved cylinder. I'm glad we changed that out. Look at the green on the top of their heads. When they get like that, they are full, mature mallard hands. Look at that. Big bird. Beautiful wings. Colors on them. Big solid bird.
There's gotta be ducks, there's gotta be teal. I'm breaking up. Here, fetch it up. That hand was perfect, man. The way that hand came in, quacked on. So as long as you're repeating the same note or a similar note to what they're doing when they're up above, that's what they're checking on. You know, they want to make sure it's a live spread. They want to hear a response. You give them a response, you see how she came around and she went back out there and turned on that note. And that's the other thing too with calling, is if you can catch them on that turn, right as they start to turn, if you can catch them on that turn, you'll usually pull them right back on the string. to come out here late October, break ice, set up some decoys. Birds worked great on the calls. Excellent decoying. Excellent response from them. Just a great day to be a waterfowler in Alaska.